All right, I am here today to propose the 28th Amendment, which is the constitutional right of equal high quality health care. I believe that in today's society, the right to equal high quality health care has become a major issue and that it should be considered a human right and not a privilege. The reason being is that most people cannot afford the insurance or have little insurance that does not cover all the necessary needs of the medical things. And the state right to health care is structured to be separate and unequal, but most health care plans have different and varying services depending on the price of the person that can afford it. And the Tenth Amendment states that the power does not the power not stated in the Constitution for federal government is left to the people or the state. And since health care does not appear in the Constitution, then is considered a state right. Only a constitutional amendment is considered to give it the right of human, or to give humans the right of equal health care. And a lot, another problem is bankruptcy due to medical expenses. And because this began to grow rapidly, high cost of health care um, has become a problem. and most people cannot cover all costs. Overall, once the amendment is created, the problems of health care will no longer be an issue and the American people will be protected altogether. I am proposing the amendment that every person has the right to life except for, in some cases, endangering the mother or rape. I believe that abortion should be under murder because the fetus is still a human. You are still killing the human. Each year, there is over a million abortions in the U.S. That's a lot of people that could be your friend or can make an improvement or impact in your life. Most people have abortions for easy ways out or just different reasons because they can. It could have been from partying or from unsafe sex or from in cases of cheating on your loved ones and they just don't want to go through it. I believe it is your fault what happens and you should pay, pay the price and raise your own child. In some cases that are exceptions for, for abortion is, for examples, are for like the mother in danger, it could be in the fallopian tube or something like that, or in cases of rape. In those cases it will be looked at in a different way. But you should be for life, not against life. My proposal to the 20th Amendment states that every person has a right to housing. That includes the people who cannot afford housing. This amendment will create homeless shelters in every county and also create ones or one or more shelters in cities with more than 100,000 people. The shelters would include bedding, three meals a day, and roof over everyone's head. This will help significantly with all the people in the country without anywhere to go. This could help solve the problems of the U.S. citizens living on the street. In big cities, many people in the city are living on the street. In 2009, there were 600,000 people that were living on the street. Um, also, about 1.56 million people used an emergency shelter or transitional housing program in a 12-month period. Because the uh, unemployment rate is so high that causes a lot of homelessness in America. Hello my fellow people. My proposition for the 20th Amendment is that all citizens should have the right to marry whomever they want. Reasons are that gay marriage has no physical harm to anyone else in the world. They, they don't harm anyone. They're normal human beings like everyone else. Uh, gay marriage is an inevitable in the United States, and gay marriage is good for straight America. Hi, I'm here to propose my uh, 28th Amendment, and that is for uh, the United States should be, or should legalize marijuana for, uh, for recreational use and medicinal use. I believe that would help all the United States in many ways, as in it relieves pain for cancer patients, as if you're going down the medicinal use road. And it will create jobs, because obviously there's going to be, need to be people there to uh, grow the plants and sell it to the customers. 
And it would also have a high income for the government. They could tax however much they wanted for it, and they could get money back for it. So basically, legalizing marijuana would do nothing but help our economy. Hello all, I would like to propose the 28th Amendment. All fully enrolled college students shall be exempt to taxes. The two reasons why I believe so is because students may have less time to work, which makes it hard to pay for things. And the other is by not taxing students, it may help them to have better focuses on education rather than money. Basically, by not taxing the students, it would eliminate debt, which helps for a better future. I believe it is important to the country, and we need this amendment. Hello, Americans. The death penalty is wrong. It is a problem in the correctional system. It is wrong for many reasons, such as it is a crime itself. Even though they committed a horrible crime, an eye for an eye is not right. There's a chance they're not even guilty. I believe we should abolish the death penalty. My amendment, which amends Article 2, Section 2 of the Constitution, includes that the President of the United States shall not be Commander-in-Chief of any armed forces, such as the Army, Marine Corps, etc. My amendment will not only take away power from the President that he shouldn't have according to, the, according to Article 2, but it will also re store more order in the military. I personally believe that this is greatly needed in the United States because too much power in one person's hand can become a problem with the government. If my amendment would be ratified, it would affect the country in a very positive way. The military would be more thoroughly organized by having high-ranking officers run the armed forces. This would ultimately take a great amount of pressure off of the government and the president when foreign affairs that involve the armed forces takes place. This amendment is very important not only to our government, but to our states, to our people. The United States needs this amendment to be passed. There are many reasons why this amendment should be supported and passed, but the most important, I believe, is that the military is the military. There should be no outside forces that affect the way the military takes in and acts on problems, not only in the United States, but around the world. Whether it's the President or Congress controlling the armed forces with no military background, in my opinion, is too much power for one person to handle on his or her own. Having the armed forces separate from government is the best way to handle operations around the world.